and what you gotta do is enjoy it, remember it, and keep living your dream. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's uh, CONCACAF official Hugo Salcido. Meanwhile, the GFA technical director, Lester Smith, says that the grassroots football program has come a very long way. Smith says that uh, a FIFA coaching seminar for local coaches to develop the, the event was staged in January. It was conducted by instructor Trinidadian Alvin Conil. We've had something like close to 40 coaches during that FIFA grassroots course that was conducted by Alvin Conil. Um, and so we continue to educate our coaches, we continue to do our best so that you get the best um, coach educators in the grassroots program. That's something that we'll be, we'll be vigorously going after to making sure that more and more people come in as coach educators and that they are properly trained to teach your guys. Smith encourages participants to have discipline as their guidance. Study hard, do your homework. Make sure that your discipline is intact because you've got nowhere without discipline. So make sure, in, as much as you like football and you want to be the professional footballer one day, you can only get there if you have that discipline to take you there. And you know what I mean by discipline. Abiding by the laws of the game, the rules that govern the game, you know, doing what is right, fair play, and all the little things that goes to make you a disciplined player. Have fun, have a great day, and thanks again to Glenleck for contributing in such a meaningful way, not only meaningful, but a very significant way um, in assisting with the GFA grassroots program. Thanks again. GFA official Lester Smith. On the field of play, there were wins over the weekend for defending champions, that's Premier League champions, Digital Class Court, Hard Rock, Paradise and Funkinor United in the GFA Premier League. Hard Rock's top four Happy Hill, four goals to nil at Plains in St. Patrick. Paradise thrashed to five stars, five nil at Progress Park in the Big Parish, while Funkinor United beat Petrocrape Queen's Park Rangers, one goal to nil at the Boucher Duplain Field. The win consolidated Hard Rock's lead at the top of the standings to 34 points, while Paradise played stayed in contention for the title in second position. They are on 31 points. Despite the loss, however, Queen's Park Rangers remained third on 28 points. Funkner United are around the mid-table. The Grenada Electricity Company, Grenlec, have provided a over a million dollars this year to the development of sports in the country. Now that's according to acting general manager Clive Hosting. He said that Grenleg has sponsored the GFA grassroots football program to the tune of $100,000. Hosting was speaking at last weekend GFA grassroots festival at the National Stadium. Our contribution to the GFA grassroots program is over $100,000. And our overall and our overall contribution to sporting activities and the development of sports for this year alone in Grenada, Caripou, and Pitimatnik is around one million dollars. Hosting says that they have also been supportive of several other projects. We are involved in a new multi-purpose hard court in Boca for the secondary school and the community. We've also just begun work to save the Grand Marais playing field by constructing a very large retaining wall and adding bleachers so that we can enhance its utility and its purpose. And the residents of Mount Pereira are looking forward to Grand Lake lighting up the playing field, which is another project that we've started. Senior Grand Lake official there, Clive Hostin. In tennis, uh, Aaron Moses Jr. and Tira Dumont are the champions of the Grenadian General Insurance National Open Tennis Championships, which ended last weekend at the Tantin Courts. 21-year-old uh, Moses won the men's singles title, beating another youngster, 20-year-old Tristan Lewis, 6'4", 6 6 Moses also teamed up with Leonard Dopwell to win the doubles competition. They defeated the number two seeds, Jimmy Brown and Tristan Palmer, 6'2", 2, 2 6, 7, 5. 
18-year-old Dumont, on the other hand, won the Ladies' Singles title, beating another youngster, 15-year-old Nikita Bowen, in three sets, 5-7, 6-2, 7-6, in what reports say was a very high-quality game. And uh, getting back to football, what do you know wins for Arsenal and Barcelona Tuesday in the Champions League? Arsenal beat Napoli two goals to nil at the Emirates, that's in England, with goals from Ozil and Giroud. Barcelona, meanwhile, beat uh, Celtic in Scotland one goal to nil, with Fabri Gas, the former Arsenal player, hitting the winner in the centre sticks minute. That sports, I'm Trevor Thwaites. Momentum continues to build as government's open constituency forum reaches a high point this week with back-to-back -back sessions Wednesday and Thursday. This Wednesday, St. George's Northeast residents gather at the Boca Secondary School to have their say. This Thursday, St. Patrick's East residents assemble at the Chantimel Primary School also to have their say. It's a people parliament where residents outline concerns and recommendations to the government. Prime Minister Keith Mitchell and MP Tobias Clement listen this Wednesday from 6.30 at Boca Secondary School and the Grenadian leader and MP Anthony Bosun listen this Thursday from 6.30 at Chantibel Primary School. Government's Open Constituency Forum slash People Parliament. Come, have your say. Recapping the main points, significant assistance in store for Grenada following visit by education delegation to Morocco, rehabilitated Chapel Bridge to be ready by next week, and Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Nicholas Steele seeks assistance from the United Nations for small island developing states. That is the GIS News. I'm Leslie and Johnson Cornwall. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you. For